What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. In today's MLB The Show 22 video, we're going to be going over how I utilize the unlimited stub method in MLB The Show 22. If you know money spent and you're looking for the best and most efficient way to make stubs, make sure that you drop a thumbs up on the content and let's get into the break. If you want to complete every collection super, super fast, head over to my sponsor and use code FAT for 5% off your order. Super fast and reliable. All right, so there is a lot of ways that you can generate stubs over and over and over. Number one is being patient. You have to be patient in order to generate stubs in MLB The Show 22. Okay, so they switched the quick sell from last year. So now you have a few different methods. You can either wait for a new program and you can flip cards on the market. Number two, you can use my sell off a hype method that we're about to go over right now in this video. And then number three, you can use my exchange method that most of the members have and people in my discord every day is making thousands and thousands of stubs. If you are in the discord, go down in the comment section right now and put W to let everybody know that what I am saying 100% work. Now, the first card we are going to go over is Nestor Cortez Jr. Nestor Cortez Jr. is what I like to call a sell off of hype type of card. OK, so if you look at him right now, he is going for 1717 stubs. If you are following the channel, if you are following the live stream, I live stream four, sometimes five times a week. So turn your notifications on just in case you didn't know. Oh brother, this guy stinks. Now this Nestor Cortez, if you buy him today for 1717, you have a chance to generate unlimited stubs over the next two days. Now with this Nestor Cortez, his quick sell is 1500. So you have a chance at losing 200 stubs, but you have a chance at making 700 stubs or more. What I mean by that is if you buy him at 1717 or the people in the discord were getting him at 15, 1550. If he goes up to about 2,500 stubs, 1717 to 2,500 stubs is what? About an 800 stub gap. Okay, so what does that mean? That means after taxes comes off, you're going to lose about 200 stubs. That's going to give you 600 stub profit unlimited over and over and over. Cards that do bad drop in value. So you have to know exactly what cards is worth you investing in. And if you follow in the channel, I'm also going to tell you and the people in the discord when to get rid of cards when they are starting to decrease so you can sell them off before you lose the value. You have to be following this channel in the live streams and make sure that you follow me on social media. OK, so all total, you're going to have six to eight different investments on hype cards. Meaning you're going to have unlimited stub opportunities off of one card to make 30,000 stubs or more. A lot of people that's been following the channel took advantage of my tips and they went out and got this Andres Jimenez. We bought the Andres Jimenez. He didn't stay up to the 1800 range. I went on live stream. I start selling off the investment and a lot of people follow. OK, so that right there, limit your amount of loss that you can have. Now, if you've been following the channel or you popped in the live stream every once in a while, this 84 overall Max Fry made you a lot of unlimited stubs. A lot of people in my discord was making 30,000 or more stubs off this one card, not even at the roster update. We were getting him for about 1,800 stubs, 1,875. He went all the way up to about 2,800 stubs two games ago when the Atlanta Braves played. So we were making off this one investment over 40 to 50 or 60,000 stubs. And then before his price went up, you were still able to go back and get more Max Fry for about 1850 to 1900 stubs again once he dropped down. And now he's trending back up 2600, 2700, 2800 stubs. And then you can rinse and repeat. 
one card, you can make over 120,000 stubs before they even get an upgrade on the roster update. Okay, so it's a lot of cards that you can buy at a good price and then you can sell off a of hype. Now, this Sandy Elka trainer, if you were in the live stream, was another great, great investment. I still have two of them left. Now, a lot of people in my Discord know, I told you, over 3,400 is the same as a quick sell for a diamond. He might get a plus two and go up to an 86 overall. But because he's not my main investment, I will go 34, 39. That's 3,095 stubs. So I put him up for 34, 39. I'm gonna make over the quick sell value of a diamond. Now he may get an 86 overall and go up to 4,000 stubs. Now in the top right corner, you can see my Sandy Elka trainer just sold over the quick sell value. Now, if you don't wanna listen to anything that I just told you, you can hold your cards and take the chance for them to get upgraded. Sandy Elka trainer is a very, very good card. He has a game later on today. So how he performs today will give you a better insight on what the next roster update will be for him. He should have went up last roster update, but he didn't. Okay. So on this video, we're going to be going over all the investments on height and then all the diamond cards in the locks. If you want me to go over anything, let me know in the comment section and I will turn that into a video for y'all. Make sure that y'all following the channel, the live streams, so you can get the discord link and we can have some fun. Let's go.